We discovered two thousand, two and a half thousand extrasolar planets. It's amazing that we've gone from one galaxy to two hundred billion some odd galaxies in, you know, 70, 80 years. There's water on the moons of Jupiter, there's water on Mars, there's water all over the Kuiper Belt, there's water on the moons of Uranus and Saturn, there's water on the moon, and we know now that there's, there's ice on Mercury. We landed on the moon! How many moons do you think Jupiter has? Keep going. Keep going. We're up to 67 for Jupiter, although very likely it has more than that. How many moons do you think Pluto has? If you said one, you are so living in the early 2000s. Pluto is up to five moons. How many moons do you think are in the solar system? Just around the planets. There's over 170, divided by six planets. So 170 moons divided by six planets, and we have not discovered them all yet. There's also an abundance of minor planet moons, what they call them? minor bodies, minor planets. These include asteroid moons. Uh, we're up to over 200 asteroidal moons at this point. With the asteroid moons and with the planetary moons, most of those moons were discovered in the last 10 years. Earth got a Trojan. Earth has a pet asteroid. We found him. We're keeping him. We named him 2010 TK7, and he's not very big, but he is ours. You've no doubt heard about these substellar objects that couldn't make it as stars, called brown dwarfs. They're bigger than planets, they're smaller than stars. Well, the first one to actually be confirmed was in 1995. So it was discovered in 1989, but it wasn't confirmed until 1995. And since then, we've discovered tons and tons and tons of these things. But it's just kind of amazing that... You know, everybody knows about brown dwarfs, but they weren't confirmed until the mid-90s. Tacking on to the brown dwarf thing, in 2011, we actually discovered what's called Y-dwarfs. So Y-dwarfs are these substellar objects that are just like brown dwarfs, but they are really, really cold. This is a substellar object that is about as cold as the human body. That is one cold substellar object. So you know how Pluto's not a planet anymore, and that's really sad? Oh wait, no, it's not sad, because he has a ton of friends out there hanging out in the Kuiper Belt, and we discovered all of these little dwarf planets really, really recently. So the IAU actually defines five planets that are dwarf planets right now, and uh, there's probably thousands of them, though, in the Kuiper Belt. I'll do a whole other episode on this later. But right now we've got Ceres, which is in the asteroid belt, Pluto, Haumea, Makemake, and Eris. Eris's discoverer, Mike Brown, actually adds on four more to his list of the dwarf planets because he thinks they are probably very, 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 very likely to be dwarf planets, and that is Sedna, Orcus, Quawar, and 2007 OR10. So don't feel bad for Pluto. He's got thousands of friends out there. The next one is potentially hazardous objects. I know this sounds like a really great discovery. Since 1989, we've discovered uh, over a thousand potentially hazardous objects, and those are, you know, asteroids that come really close to Earth, and they could absolutely be hazardous to our health. Uh, but what's really interesting is before 1989, we only had discovered, like, 30. So, 1989 rolls around, and then all of a sudden we just start discovering these things like crazy. But th the way to think about this is that the universe, the solar system, has not become a more dangerous place. We're just more aware of the danger. PHOs should not be confused with NEOs, near-Earth objects. Um, near-Earth objects, there's actually a lot more of them, but a lot of them have stable orbits, and so we know they're not going to hit us. We only have to worry about 10% of those. That those are the potentially hazardous objects, so we only have a thousand asteroids to worry about. That's nothing. The diamond planet. So no doubt you've heard about this diamond planet. It's, it's what uh, astronomers actually call carbon planet. Not so much a diamond planet, but you know, carbon gets hot and, and it just turns into a diamond, I guess, over time. Anyway, so 55 Cancer E is probably a carbon planet and it's, it's actually not even that far away. And it was discovered in 2004 and then confirmed in 2012. 
and it probably is is very very likely a carbon planet which is way interesting so you know a hundred years ago all of these discoveries nobody had even heard of no one had even conceived of things like black holes or quasars or brown dwarfs or extrasolar planets I mean people obviously thought about some of them but they had never been a touchable reality so you know as you go through life just, just check back up on Google and see the new things that astronomy has discovered and you'll probably find that it it's every single month you check we're gonna find some amazing things because that is the technological world that we live in it's good to be a geek it's good to be a creep it's good to draw my pictures and no one will have a scene it's good to be a geek it's good to be a gnome it's good i'll never wait in right beside the telephone no right now we've got Ceres, which is in the asteroid belt pluto maki maki hawamea and Eris. Earth has a Trojan. Earth has a Trojan. Earth has a pet asteroid. Earth got a Trojan. Earth got a Trojan. So we confirmed this Trojan in 2011. We found a pet asteroid. Earth got a Trojan. So we have a pet a Earth has- so Earth actually has 170 planets divided by six moons, because Mercury and Venus don't have moons. What? You said 170 planets and six moons. <laughs> don't look at me like that. <laughs>